in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. Say, who are the people in your neighborhood, the people that you meet each day? Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Turn the Page Tuesdays. So now that it's almost time for bed, make sure that you take care of all of those bedtime routines. Parents, now's the time to pause your device for the children to be able to go ahead and do that. Hi, boys and girls. Tonight I'm here with Laura Makowitz from LCH. And Laura, can you tell me um, what LCH means, what you do in the community of Oxford? Sure. Um, so LCH, we are a community health center but the community is the biggest word in that. So we take care of any and all people, regardless of if you have insurance or not, um, if you speak Spanish or English, it doesn't matter. We do primary care, mental health services, we see kids, we have a dental practice, we have women's health, um, social services, really making sure that no matter what sh where you are, where you're going, we're gonna take care of you and make sure you have everything you need uh, to, to live and succeed in the community. Wow, so you don't just deal with, um, with kids, you deal with everyone. Yes, um, we've been in the community for a very long time uh, and we've seen a lot of different people come and go and we've changed our center so we can make sure we're serving everyone. So back in the day when we first started, we actually were opened up to serve the Latino community for the immigrants that were coming to the area. Um, so a lot of people know us for serving the Latino community, but we actually serve everyone. Um, and we have grown our services so we can really take care of any and all people in the community, every age, every situation. Great, well thank you so much. And I, we're, I hear we're going to hear from some of your staff uh, this evening and um, some books that they're reading. Buenas noches, estamos aquí con Laura Maskowitz de la Comunidad Hispana del LCH. Y, um, Laura, ¿nos puedes hablar un poquitico de qué es lo que hace LCH para la comunidad de Oxford? Um, hola, y hacemos, hacemos todo. So, somos un centro de salud, pero somos un centro comunitario. Y servimos personas con seguro, seguro médico, sin seguro médico, personas que hablan español, personas que hablan inglés, en cualquier idioma, en cualquier situación, a servir todos. So, tenemos cuidado, atención primaria, uh, servimos niños, tenemos salud de la mujer, um, asistencia social, su so ayuda con, con preguntas que tiene sobre los recursos en la comunidad. Um, y aceptamos todos y damos un bienvenidos a cualquier persona que necesita ayuda. Ay, qué bueno está eso. Y no puedes, eh, no, también nos vas a introducir a algunas de, tu, de sus um, asistentes aquí que nos van a leer un libro esta noche. All right, yes. Yep. Hi again, we're here with Fatima Sitar, and she is a nurse practitioner. Now, that's a very, very big word. Can you tell me what a nurse practitioner is? Sure, a nurse practitioner functions in a lot of ways similar to a doctor. And here at La Comunidad Hispana, um, I see patients of all ages. So um, little babies, toddlers, preschool, school age kids like yourselves, um, and we, I help the pediatric team here to focus on keeping our kids strong and healthy. Great, thank you. And we also have with us this evening uh, Dr. Bren, who is also from LCH. And Dr. Bren, can you tell me what you do in our community? Uh, yes, I work with Fatima, and we see children from birth through 18 years of age, or I do. Um, and we see them when they're sick, we see them when they're well, we vaccinate them, and we try and keep them healthy. Great. So Fatima, did you uh, have to read a lot to become a nurse practitioner? Oh wow, that, yes I did. We, uh, after high school, had to do four years of college, and then another two, three years for the uh, master's certification, and I still do a lot of reading to keep up to date with everything that's happening uh, currently. Do you like reading? I love it. Thank you. And how about you, Dr. Bren? Um, did yeah. you have to yeah. do a lot of reading? Yes. Like Fatima, I uh, went to college for four years and medical school for four years and then specialized in pediatrics for three years. And I still, like Fatima, read every month on pediatrics to stay up to date. And I read every night for fun. Great. Well, thank you very much. Estamos aquí con la especialista enfermera de la comunidad hispana, la señora Fatima Satar. 
¿Cómo estás? Bien, gracias. Y usted. Bien. Explíquenos exactamente lo que es una especialista en enfermería. So, una especialista en enfermería funciona mucho como una doctora en que ve a pacientes de todas edades. Yo soy una especialista familiar. Uh -huh. So, aquí lo que hago es ayudar a las pediatras a ver a los niños de todas las edades, asegurarnos que siguen fuertes y saludables. Ay, muy bien. Y tenemos también con nosotros a la Dr. Brennan. Ella también uh, es la doctora de la comunidad hispana. Y explíquenos lo que hace la doctora de Brennan. So, la doctora Bren es una pediatra, quiere decir que especializó en ver a niños de nacimiento hasta los 18 años. Eh, ella eh, nos ayuda mucho eh, enseñándonos las prácticas más, eh, más modernas para cuidar a los niños. Eh, le damos las vacunas a los niños, los vemos cuando están enfermos, los vemos cuando están bien y juntos como un equipo nos aseguramos de que todos están saludables. Fátima, explícanos si, cuánto tiempo eh, um, de tu, demoraste en hacer especialista de enfermería. Pues he estado leyendo desde chiquita y para especializar fueron cuatro años de universidad y después otros dos o tres años para el certificado de especialista de enfermera. ¿Y um, te gusta leer? Me encanta. ¿Te encanta leer? Sí. Ay, Dr. Brennan, también usted, eh, ¿cuánto tiempo se demoró en ir a la universidad? How long did it take for you to go to the university and become a doctor? Okay, I went to university for four years and then medical school for four years and then specialized in pediatrics for another three years. Oh. So, so la doctora Brennan estudió por cuatro años en universidad, cuatro años especializó en um, escuela médica y otros tres años especializando como pediatra. Okay. ¿Y te le gusta leer, Dr. Brennan? Do you like reading? I do like reading. I read um, books, novels for enjoyment, and I read to keep up with pediatrics as oh, well. La doctora Bren le gusta leer novelas y mantiene su certificación por leyendo mensualmente las uh, cosas que salen nuevas en medicina. Give a mouse a cookie in English and in Spanish. This is by Laura Jaffe Numeroff. If you give a mouse a cookie. Si le das al ratoncito una galleta. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. Te va a pedir una taza de leche. When you give him the milk. Cuando le das la leche. Uh, he'll probably ask you for a straw. Te va a pedir un sorbete. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Cuando acabe, te va a pedir una servilleta. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Después va a querer mirar a un espejo, asegurarse que no tiene un bigote. bigote. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim, so he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Cuando se mire en el espejo, va, es posible que note que necesita cortarse el pelo, así que va a pedir unas tijeras. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up, so he'll start sweeping. Cuando acabe de cortarse el pelo, va a querer una escoba para recoger y va a empezar a, a recoger. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Puede que se uh, exagere un poquito y se pone a barrer toda la casa. He may even end up washing the floors as well. Y puede que lave los pisos también. And when he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Cuando acabe, va a querer dormir un poquito. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. Vas a tener que hacerle una cajita con una cobija y una almohada. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillows a few times. Se va a meter, se va a hacer confortable, y va a tratar de arreglar la almohada una poca de veces. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Y probablemente va a pedir que le leas una historia. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. Así que le vas a leer de uno de tus libros y él va a pedir verle las fotos. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Cuando él mire las fotos, se va a excitar tanto que va a querer dibujar uno del mismo y va a pedir papel y crayolas. He'll draw a picture. Le dibuja una foto. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Y cuando la foto se acabe, él va a querer firmar su nombre. With a pen. Con un bolígrafo. 
Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator. Después va a querer colgar la foto en la nevera. Which means he'll need. Que quiere decir que necesita. Scotch tape. Cinta de pegar. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Él va a colgar el dibujo y eh, hacerse para atrás a mirarlo. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that. Y mirando a la nevera le va a hacer recordar. He's thirsty. Que tiene sed. So. Así que. He'll ask for a glass of milk. Le va a pedir una taza de leche. And chances are if he asks for a glass of milk. Y los chances son que si él va a pedirle una taza de leche. He's going to want a cookie to go with it. Va a querer una galletica para acompañarlo. The end. Fin. I hope you enjoyed that book by our special guest. Now it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. Well, there are the people that you meet when you're walking down the street. They're the people that you meet.